Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's session of the series Webinar 2021 Jungbook for Foreign Investors. This session introduces the hydrogen economy perspective in South Korea and Jungbook 2021. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Sarah Riga, and I am a consultant at CBCM. CBCM is a commission facilitator for accelerating cross-border business development for Korean local governments. We are specialized in Korean market entry and we can help you establish a Korean business entity and apply for government support programs. Please feel free to contact us to explore opportunities in the South Korean market. You can also learn more about our activities via our presence in Hannover, Germany and Lyon, France. Part one of this session looks at the hydrogen business opportunities in South Korea and part two explains Jungbuk Province's hydrogen plan and introduces some strategic projects. Let's begin with part one, hydrogen business opportunities in South Korea. Here, I will talk about the Korean government's hydrogen vision and investment policy, hydrogen applications and supply system. Through this insight into the government's hydrogen plans, I hope companies in relevant industries can identify business opportunities in South Korea. Korea has the ambitious goal to become the number one hydrogen economy in the world. By 2040, the hydrogen industry is expected to add more than $38 billion to Korea's economy and create 420,000 new jobs. Also, Korea plans to achieve the world's highest market share of hydrogen vehicles. To achieve these goals, the National Assembly passed a special law last year. The Hydrogen Economy Promotion and Hydrogen Safety Management Law was designed to make sure that all necessary steps can be taken and all arising issues can be resolved without delays. The expansion of the hydrogen economy is also part of the Korean New Deal, which is supposed to help the Korean economy recover after the COVID-19 shock. For more information on the Korean New Deal, please refer to the previous webinar session. The government's investment policy is centered around the strategic goal to reduce the hydrogen price significantly. The next milestone is to reach a price of around three US dollars per kilogram in 20 years. To help the industry achieve this goal, the Korean government is using a number of support methods including subsidies, regulatory reform, tariffs, taxation benefits, and additional support to help small and medium enterprises form a compact hydrogen industry ecosystem. These support methods are especially targeted at three focus areas. For hydrogen production, there are projects like building electrolysis plants based on large scale solar and wind energy and using fuel cell technology to power buildings. R&D is needed to improve the efficiency of hydrogen extraction, diversify hydrogen extraction methods, and achieve economic feasibility of electrolysis technologies. The expansion of hydrogen vehicles is also one of the government's main interests with the goal of reaching a production volume of 6.2 million vehicles in 2040. The Korean government has divided the application of hydrogen into mobility and energy. Mobility is mostly concerned with hydrogen powered vehicles and therefore also hydrogen fueling stations. The plan is to expand the number of fueling stations to 1,200 and reach a production output of 6.2 million units of hydrogen vehicles within the next 20 years. 
uh, 6.2 million include domestic demand and export. Other than vehicles, the application of hydrogen is being expanded to ships, trains, drones, construction equipment, and more. Here, the R&D focus is on issues like exploring different sources of hydrogen production, reduction of storage volume, and increasing speed and running distance. The second application is energy. Here, making hydrogen economically feasible is of course a central issue. By 2025, the cost of hydrogen power generation should be reduced to that of LNG. Other milestones are the development of hydrogen gas turbines by 2030, and to power almost 1 million households by 2040. Hydrogen fuel cells are used for power generation and to power homes. The plan is to achieve 15 gigawatts for power generation and 2.1 gigawatts for homes by 2040. Lastly, let's look at the overall hydrogen supply system. The supply of hydrogen is set to reach over 5 million tons per year by 2040. Currently, there is an effort to add water electrolysis technology to the more established methods of hydrogen extraction and byproduct hydrogen. Starting from 2030, import will also become a hydrogen source. Regarding the storage and transport of hydrogen, the Korean government has not made very specific announcements yet. However, it is clear that the goal will be to transfer from high pressure gas storage to liquefaction, liquid and solid storage. In terms of hydrogen transport, the government plans to build a nationwide pipeline supply chain. I hope I was able to provide some insights into Korea's hydrogen economy. We will take a two minute break now. You can take this time to ask a question in the comment section and we will answer it in the Q&A session at the end of this webinar. Or you can send us an email at contact at cbcm-co.com. Please stay tuned to learn about the hydrogen plants of Jungbuk province. Thank you and see you in our second session. Welcome back to the second part of today's session of the series webinar 2021 Jungbook for foreign investors. Thank you for joining us again. Here in part two of this webinar session, we will introduce Jungbook Province's hydrogen plan and projects. If you missed the first part, you can catch up on our CBCM LinkedIn page. In case you are unfamiliar with Jungbuk province, you can follow this link to find more information on Jungbuk's geoeconomic 
environment. So you might want to check that out. In this second part, I will talk about the current status and vision of Jungbuk's hydrogen economy and the outcome the province expects to achieve. Then I will explain Jungbuk's hydrogen economy implementation strategy. After that, we will look at five strategic hydrogen projects of Jungbuk. I hope these insights will help you identify Jungbuk province as the right business location for your company. Currently, Jungbuk province's hydrogen market share is only 8% of Korea's total hydrogen economy. However, starting from 2023, Jungbuk plans to maintain a market share of 25% over the next few decades. Just for your information, South Korea's hydrogen economy is predicted to contribute a steady 2 to 3% to the world hydrogen market. For more detailed information, please refer to the tables below. As you can see, Jungbuk is placed right at the center of South Korea, giving it a geographic advantage. The Seoul metropolitan area can be reached in less than one and a half hours. It is home to 25 million people, which is half of South Korea's total population. Through Jungbuk's hydrogen efforts, the province is determined to become the heart of Korea's green hydrogen production, a hydrogen supply center for not only the Seoul metropolitan area, but for all parts of Korea, and the largest central hub for electric energy related industries. Jungbuk Province's hydrogen economy implementation plan considers production, storage, utilization of hydrogen, as well as an overall hydrogen industry ecosystem. The focus will be on CO2-free hydrogen production, hydrogen production using water electrolysis and biogas. Jungbuk is working on the construction and commercialization of a large-scale hydrogen storage plant. Because of its central location, Jungbuk is already an important logistics center in Korea. This will be no different for hydrogen. Concerning hydrogen usage in the province, 40 hydrogen charging stations as well as a 500 megawatts fuel cell power plant will be constructed. The application of hydrogen is to be expanded to trains, vessels, forklifts, and more. Jungbuk is developing a cluster for hydrogen-powered vehicle parts. Training and educating human resources also adds to Jungbuk's hydrogen industry ecosystem. Lastly, as you might remember from the previous webinar session about the Korean New Deal, Jungbuk is putting a huge focus on hydrogen safety. The province wants to become a leader in hydrogen safety and standardization. This will include safety standards for hydrogen products and facilities using hydrogen fuel. In the following, I will introduce five strategic projects of Jungbuk province that are vital for the successful implementation of the hydrogen economy. The first project will establish Jungbuk as the leader of hydrogen safety in Korea. The second project is a hydrogen vehicle one-stop testing facility. The third is concerned with the diversification of methanol-based hydrogen extraction. The fourth is an ammonia-based green hydrogen plant. And lastly, we will look at an on-site biogas hydrogen fueling station. What you see here is part of the organizational structure 
of the Korea Gas Safety Corporation, which is a governmental organization subordinated under the Ministry of Trade, Industry and Energy. Earlier this year, it newly established a Hydrogen Safety Technology Institute. Both the Gas Safety Corporation and the Hydrogen Safety Technology Institute are located in Chungbuk Innovation City, giving Chungbuk province a great advantage in all issues concerning hydrogen safety. The Institute is in charge of setting safety standards for hydrogen products and facilities using hydrogen fuel. Some of the first projects are a safety demonstration of hydrogen extractor linked fuel cells for public buildings and a real time monitoring system for the operation status of hydrogen charging stations. The Institute is also in charge of establishing hydrogen safety training and evaluation centers. Some examples are the Hydrogen Gas Safety Experience Training Center, the Hydrogen Commercial Vehicle Component Test and Evaluation Center, and others. There are many more projects concerning hydrogen safety, so if you are interested, please contact us for more detailed information. The next project is a hydrogen vehicle one-stop testing facility. This facility is being built in various stages and at each stage, new testing and assessment facilities will be added. Right now, the focus is on building an electromagnetic waves testing facility. Next will be evaluation equipment for 5G and autonomous driving vehicle assessment. And lastly, there will be a reliability testing facility for eco-friendly automobile parts. The goal of this facility is to support companies in the automobile sector through a customized company support platform. The companies can receive R&D support, they can take advantage of shared equipment, and they can get support in obtaining standard certifications. This one-stop testing facility demonstrates that Chungbuk not only wants to become a leader in hydrogen safety and standardization, but it also actively supports companies in meeting these standard requirements. The third project that we are looking at here is the most exciting one. The plan is to produce hydrogen during the cement production process. This way, CO2 generation from cement production can be reduced by 80%. Almost 50% of Korea's cement production takes place in Chungbuk province. So this will be one of the most important projects. Let's take a look at the process. To put it simply, the CO2 that is generated in the cement production process is captured. The heat that is needed during the cement production process is used for the chemical reaction that then produces methane gas. This methane gas is then synthesized with LNG. The output is hydrogen, methanol and dimethyl ether. The expected yearly output is 2200 tons for hydrogen, 11,000 tons for methanol, and 8200 tons for DME. This next project is actually the first of its kind in South Korea. In this green hydrogen plant, hydrogen is extracted from ammonia. This allows CO2-free green hydrogen production. First, ammonia is separated into nitrogen and hydrogen. The hydrogen is purified and can then be used in fueling stations. Ammonia can also be transported straight to companies 
and offer on-site hydrogen production. This project also contains two on-site hydrogen fueling stations that are supplied with ammonia. The expected daily hydrogen output is eight tons. This ammonia hydrogen project underlines Chungbuk's commitment to green hydrogen production methods that are an actual alternative to conventional energy sources. The last strategic project that we are looking at today is an on-site biogas hydrogen fueling station. It will modify an already existing CNG fueling station near a food waste bioenergy center. Food waste is turned into methane, which is reformed into hydrogen. This fueling station can power 20 buses and 100 passenger vehicles per day. These were just a few of many projects. Chungbuk has many more hydrogen projects, especially concerned with hydrogen safety. If you would like some more information on these and other projects, please contact us. Thank you for listening. I hope this webinar gave you a good overview on Chungbuk's hydrogen plans. If you have any questions, you can ask them now in our short Q&A session. Or you can always send us an email at contact at cbcm-code.com. Thank you.